Hello team, this is Dave. You know, Dave. Anyways, I thought it would be helpful for crew lessons if I recorded this to show you about the HOS pre-assessment. Um, so if you watch this, it kind of gives you an idea. So for HOS within the crew plan this week, we had one day where you're doing a, a background uh, review of what HOS is, and there's a Google slide presentation with a couple videos. One is about what soft skills are, and the other video is kind of shows the students how to check their HOS. I used Samuel's Grade uh, Infinite Campus account, and I did a screencast video that you can show them. That just kind of gives them the idea that you know where they can find their HOS. Um, the next day, we, uh, we would like for you to do have the kids do a pre-assessment. So the idea was, you know, how we do it at the end of each uh, semester. But the idea was to do this um, at the beginning of the year so the kids could kind of look at HOS and kind of make a fresh new commitment to a goal on one of the habits. And, and so I want to show you that real quick and kind of explain how that's set up. So it's, I'm going to share you guys on this, um, but it looks like this. So it's, it's ex pretty much exactly the same thing that they do um, at the end of each semester. Um, so there's directions here at the top. So rank yourself in the following sub-targets for each habit. When you are done, choose one habit that you want to go in. In the box below it, write a goal statement that includes two to three sub-targets that you ranked. Make sure your goal state your goal is SMART. You might want to explain what a SMART goal is. Um, and when you are done, click on the on the pink box below. Okay, so that's another step here, and I'll explain that in a minute. So they're, when they're done, they're going to click on this. Um, so they would go through, you know, they would basically do what they normally do. They would rank themselves and then it would give them their number. Um, they would go through each one of these sub targets. And uh, when they're done, they could, they can look at the one that they're weakest in. Um, I would encourage them to do which one did you kind of like, what do you struggle with the most and just put a goal here and walk them through like how, let's say they want to do humor. So they might say, you know, this, by the end of this year, um, I will appropriately use my humor, which means I will smile more often and I will not disrupt class with humor, whatever it is. Kind of walk them through what a statement would be. I would really take some time to do that. So once they have that, um, we created a survey down here that they would click on this pink box and it would take them to this link. And you know, up here at the tab, you know, it would still be open. They can go back and forth. But this is just basically to collect their data. So we have it all in one place. So their first name, their last name, they would put in their grade, and then they would select their crew teacher. We developed this for all the way through 12th grade. So find your crew teacher. Um, I believe I have to put in uh, Scott's because when I developed this, he wasn't there. So I'll make sure to, to fix that. Um, and I think that's it. I think maybe, yeah. So anywho, um, and then what they're going to do is scroll down here, and they're going to uh, check, just simply check which one was their strongest. Um, and, you know, if they had one, if they were tied, of course, they would, like, put which, which one are they most proud of as their strongest, right? So maybe they, they rated themselves high in all of them. Think of it, which one, overall, which one do they think they're strongest in and which one are they the weakest? They can look back at their data. And then they, I would like for them to go back to their chart, copy their goal here, and then submit. Um, because if they, when they do that, we'll have all students' goals set up. So we could, you can access that. So if you wanted to do some goal setting with kids and work with them, we'll have it. And I can and I can send you the results for that, and so we can also look at data and see where kids are the strongest, where they struggle. So it's just kind of a nice feature we built into this. So that's kind of what we, we would love for you to do. Once again, the crew flow is try to follow it. Um, we laid it out so we can make sure we hit the different things. Okay. So just wanted to give you this video, and of course, if you have questions, please talk to me. I right, appreciate you guys. Thank you so much.